Hello my friends, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for watching my videos. Once again I'm traveling to the beautiful city of London and in this particular video we're going to take the train and we're going to travel to South London to the London borough of Lewisham in order to visit the Victorian era Broccoli and Ladywell Cemetery that was opened up in 1858. Now this is going to be a walking tour of the cemetery. We're not going to add any music here. We're going to walk around and I'm going to explain to you everything that we see. And this cemetery you're going to see here, by the way, has turned into a nature conservation area and has been left to nature. It is abandoned and forgotten, but we're going to enjoy the views nevertheless. Let's go for a long walk and let's enjoy the views. Let's do it. The two cemeteries, Broccoli and Ladywell, they were first established in 1858 and they were separated by a wall. The wall was destroyed in 1948 and now there is only one cemetery, Broccoli and Ladywell Cemetery and has now turned into a magnificent nature conservation area with beautiful paths to walk around and to enjoy views of history and also of nature. And uh, there are so many beautiful monuments and statues lost forever in this cemetery. Look at this beautiful statue of an angel decorating a tomb from 1901. What a beautiful scene here at this cemetery. And uh, on quite a few occasions, as I walk around these ancient cemeteries here in London, the Victorian era cemeteries, I find the most unexpected things. Here's a monument with all the information erased on it, on the front of the monument, because of the weather and because of age. And here on the bottom of the monument, somebody has deposited a pink stuffed bear. Who deposited this bear here and why, for whom? We'll never know. But it is such a beautiful scene to see and to videotape so we can preserve it for the future. It is rather unfortunate that the western side of the cemetery is very close to a very busy road. But here we find some outstanding examples of Victorian era architecture of the tombs. Look at this beautiful cast iron railing of a tomb that dates from 1869. We have seen this so many times here in London when we are visiting the Victorian era cemeteries like Nunhead, Brompton, Abney Park. The tombs are completely forgotten. Not a, nobody knows anymore who's buried in this neglected, abandoned, forgotten tombs. But what's really absolutely magnificent is the views of nature as it is consuming the tombs one by one, slowly but surely. And this is a time of a year that I really like visiting 
the old cemeteries around London with the beautifully colored golden leaves decorate the tombs. When winter arrives, this whole area will be just gray in color. But now it's giving us a beautiful, colorful view, as you can see here. And in a forgotten corner of the cemetery, we find this beautiful statue of an angel holding on to a cross right there. It belongs to a tomb from 1903. The name or the names on the tomb have long been erased. But it is such a beautiful scene here, this forgotten part of the cemetery. And to whom does this beautiful statue belong to? It's a small child, that's for sure. The statue is missing the head and the right hand, as you can see here. All that we know from the information down there below is that the child that died was 11 years old and died in 1929. When the Lady Wells Cemetery opened up in 1858, during the Victorian era, a beautiful chapel was built as well, right here. The chapel is still here, but it has been locked up for years. At one time, it was a busy chapel indeed, and the horse carriages would go through this arched entrance in order to deposit the sarcophagus of the deceased. It is now locked up and forgotten. The only monuments and tombs that can be saved from being consumed by nature are the monuments around the chapel that we just saw. But even here, the tombs of well-known wealthy individuals have not escaped the destruction of men. You can see the top of this tomb is broken and now it's been used as a place to deposit rubbish or garbage, unfortunately. And uh, this tombstone here is so incredibly old that all the information regarding the names of the deceased and the dates and so on have been peeled off. All that remains is the cross over the tombstone blackened from age and covered in moss. And in another corner of the cemetery, we find this two meter in height statue of an angel. At one time, he was decorating a tomb. The tomb has been lost forever. Nobody really remembers or knows who was buried here. All we can see is this beautiful statue slowly being consumed by nature. In a couple of years, when the branches will grow, they will cover the statue completely and it will disappear forever. And uh, finally, allow me to show you one more 
scene in order to emphasize my point that at one time these were truly magnificent cemeteries here in England and more specifically in London. And si since the decision was made to abandon them six or seven decades ago and to turn them into nature conservation areas, the magnificent tombs and monuments of the cemeteries are quickly disappearing. What you see here in two to three decades will disappear as well. Now because the cemetery is not one of the seven magnificent cemeteries here in London, there are seven Victorian era cemeteries here in London that are absolutely fascinating. That would include Brompton, Abney Park and Highgate, just to name three of them. This one, although it's a Victorian era cemetery, it is not part of the seven magnificent cemeteries. As a result, it doesn't have the magnificent monuments you would expect to see. But what you find here is absolutely incredible scenes of nature. And this is what I wanted to show you here, how nature grows over the decades once this cemetery has been abandoned in the 1950s and now it, it is taking over the monuments. And within a couple of decades, it will be a pure nature conservation area. And you're gonna be able to see most of the monuments here at Brockley and Ladywell Cemetery. This is Vic, thank you for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, tour of this cemetery. Bye bye.